In this lecture, I'll discuss surgical blades. Let's understand this topic with the point that when the patient is in the surgical position and the surgeon is all set to start the surgery. So, to start the surgery, we always make an incision and for that, the surgeon requires a blade. That is the surgical blade. So, there are some important points which we need to discuss before going into the detail of the different types of surgical blades. The first point here is that the skin incision should be made with a scalpel and the blade should be always placed at right angle or perpendicular to the skin will create a clean incision. As if the incision made is oblique, in such cases there will be necrosis of the undercut edges. Now, after that, a very important point you need to remember is that incision is always made from far end to the near from the surgeon which means if you are a righty you will start the incision from left side to the right side and if you are a lefty you will start the incision from right side to the left side of yours okay which automatically means that you will start from the far end to the near end okay so do remember this point and lastly all the surgical blades and the scalpels should be passed in a kidney tray okay it should always be passed in a kidney tray and if the kidney tray is not there always hold the blade towards your end and then pass the surgical blade to the surgeon or the nurse you are passing to and another important point i want to mention which usually students go wrong with is that the sharpest portion of the blade is the sharpest portion is the belly of the blade yes do remember this point that the sharpest point is the belly of the blade. Now, after that, let's discuss the various surgical blades which are available and these have been asked in the exam also and this blade number 11 has been asked in the latest PG exam. So, let's discuss blade number 11. So, this has a sharp tip and this is known as stab blade. Okay, it is known as a stab blade and as it has a sharp tip, it can be used for incision and drainage and also for arteriotomy. Okay, so this is the blade number 11. The other is the blade number 10. Now, here I want to mention the other two blades also. Before discussing blade number 10, 12 and 15, I want to highlight a point that the blade number 10 and 15 have a belly okay while the blade number 12 has a curved margins okay so starting with the blade number 10 as it has a belly like structure it is used for skin incisions but blade number 12 which has a curved margin inside is used for suture removal and do remember that blade number 12 can be a potent question for this year after that we'll move to blade number 15 so as I have just mentioned that it has a belly and a curved margin outside and as it has a belly which is the sharpest point it is used for making precise incision okay as the blade number 15 is little smaller in size they are can be used for making precise incision so the uses for blade number 15 is minor surgical procedures the plastic surgery and in pediatric surgeries after that we will now discuss about blade number 20 22 and 23 and all these three as you can see again have a belly and a curved edge okay so we will start with the blade number 20 now blade number 20 is used in the orthopedic procedures okay blade number 22 they have a large curved blade as you can see in this image so these are mainly used for cutting tissues thoracotomy and leprotomy and lastly blade number 23 is leaf shaped blade and these are used for making long and thick incisions and in the abdominal incisions so 